A city of guarded banks and the world center of gold trading. Zurich surprises visitors with its amazingly rich and vibrant contemporary art and cultural scene. The vast National Museum and Kunsthaus Art Gallery are both world-class attractions. With cobblestone streets, tree-lined promenades and lakeside quays, Zurich is one of the most seductive European cities for strolling. A great place for an adventurous journey. Zurich's origins date back as long ago as 15 BC, when the Roman post of Turicum was founded as a custom station to oversee goods traveling to and from Italy. Despite the settlement being continuously inhabited, it wasn't until the 9th century that the first mention of the Teutonic town of Zurich appeared. By the 10th century, the town had acquired the status of a city and went on to become the center of the Swiss Protestant Reformation in the 16th century. The motto Pray and Work was to have a profound effect on the shaping of the city, which by the 19th century had grown into the commercial and financial center of Switzerland. Swiss banks manage about a third of the world's cross-border invested assets and over a third of Swiss banks have their registered offices in Zurich's economic area. The city is also the third largest insurance market in the world and this enormous financial sector strength is of fundamental importance for Zurich. Around 40% of the city's economic potential comes from its financial sector, with the banks being significant employers and generating work for service companies. Bahnhofstrasse is Zurich's main downtown street and one of the world's most expensive and exclusive shopping avenues. In 2011, a study named the Bahnhofstrasse the most expensive street for retail property in Europe and the third most expensive worldwide. The street is largely pedestrianized, but is also an important link in the Zurich tram network. It is lined with upmarket shops and chic restaurants, as well as the headquarters of several major Swiss banks. At the junction with Sielstrasse and Seidengasse is Yelmoli, Zurich's foremost department store. Beneath Bayer, a watch and jewelry shop at Bahnhofstrasse, is the Clock Museum Bayer. This clock museum contains a collection of timepieces ranging from the simplest timekeeping devices to elegant modern watches set with precious stone. Bahnhofstrasse also opens into Paradeplatz. Once a military parade ground, the square is now lined with large buildings, including the headquarters of Sprüngli, the Swiss chocolatier. Zurich is small enough to be explored on foot, as most of the old town is pedestrian zone. It is hardly worth taking a car anywhere. The trams are faster. You can take them to all places, including places of historical significance. Zurich's monumental Neo-Renaissance train station is one of the city's greatest icons. Completed in 1871, it is well preserved and the original structure of the main hall unaltered. The clean, well-kept concourse is lined with stylish shops. In winter, this place is filled with stalls and is also used for seasonal fairs and markets. Beneath the concourse is a modern shopping center. A short distance away can be seen the tall twin towers of Grossmünster, or Great Minster, which dominates Zurich's skyline from the east bank of the Limmat. It was from the pulpit of the Grossmünster that the humanist Ulrich Zwingli preached the Reformation. It was also in Grossmünster where the Bible was first translated into German. The most distinctive feature of the Church of St. Peter is the large clock face. With a diameter of 8.7 meters, it is the largest in Europe. The church stands on a pre-Romanesque structure dating back to the 9th century, 
whilst the main body of the church dates from 1705 to 1716. Set on a hillside, Zurich's university buildings overlook the city. Although the present complex dates from 1911 to 14, the university was founded in 1833. It is now the largest in Zurich and is a prominent center of research and higher education. A short distance from the university buildings is the Mahmud Mosque, which was the first mosque to be built in Switzerland. Mahmoud Mosque is the first mosque ever in Switzerland. It was built almost 50 years ago. The foundation stone of this mosque was laid by Hazrat Nawab Amtalafiz Begum Sahiba, who was the daughter of Hazrat Masih Mawad Islam. And it was inaugurated by Hazrat Sar Muhammad Zafullah Khan Sahib. At that occasion, the then city mayor of Zurich, uh, Mr. Emil Landold, was also present. And uh, he was a very nice and broad-minded person. And he supported Jamaat a lot to, to have permissions and all the formalities of the building of this mosque in the city of Zurich. It is the only mosque in Europe where the foundation stone was laid by the daughter of Hazrat Masih Mawad Islam. This mosque enjoys a very positive reputation in Swiss society and played a key role in propagation of Islam and in spreading the true teaching of Islam and also in removing the misconception about Islam. From the beginning, this mosque is a central place for all Muslims from all countries. Even from the cities which are far away from Zurich, the Muslims from embassies of Muslim countries, they visited this mosque on special events on special occasions, especially for Eid al-Zuha and Eid al-Fitr. We are having different programs in this mosque, for example, open days and tabligh activities in this mosque, and school classes, religious groups, and groups from uh, political parties and some other NGOs are also visiting this mosque to get the proper and the true information about Islam. In the center of Zurich is Zurichsee. This beautiful glacial lake stretches 40 kilometers from Zurich to the foot of the Glarner Alps. The main boat trips departing from Zurich range from shore trips to cruises of half a day. Along the Zürichsee is the China Garden, ideal for taking a breath of fresh air and getting away from the hustle and bustle of the city. This Chinese garden laid out in 1994 was a gift from Kunming, the Chinese city that is twinned with Zurich. It is filled with plants and small ornaments typical of the Chinese art of creating a formal garden. High above Zurich's rooftops at 871 meters above sea level lies Uetliberg with its peak, the Utokulm. Uetliberg is a proper activity and adventure mountain. It offers all kinds of recreational activities. Be it a leisurely walk or the sporty challenge of the mountain bike trails, it has something for everyone to relax. The summit of Yetliberg offers a beautiful scenic view over the city, Lake Zurich and the Limmat Valley, all the way to the panorama of the Alps. A fitting way to end an adventurous journey.